Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and today we're going to take a look at Marvel Strike Force and dive into something that the devs had said a few weeks ago in one of their blogs right here regarding power level and how the player and the decisions that the player makes really allows them to battle more powerful teams and the number is not the end-all be-all. But first, before we get into that, if you're just now finding my channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. I want to take a look at this highlighted paragraph here that the devs had mentioned when talking about power level. And I'm just going to go ahead and read through this real quick. Then we're going to go ahead and jump into the game, and then we're going to test it. We're going to test this out and see how well it works out as far as the numbers. So they say while it isn't represented in a squad's power score, player skill generally equates to about 20% more power when battling an opponent controlled by the AI. This means that your 100k power team should be able to take down a 120k team when you're controlling them. You can feel this when you choose fights in, the, in arena mode, even in mirror matches. You can almost always take on an opponent tougher than yourself with the right choices. More synergistic team compositions, such as defenders and such, can account for even more. With the right composition and tactics, it's not uncommon for a team to punch up more than 50% power. When we take into consideration that red star characters are extremely rare and that PvP teams typically require five characters, the 75% power on a single character within a squad can often be countered with the right combination of skill and tools. All right, so with that being said, when I went over this blog a couple weeks ago or last week, I had, I had some doubts there, being able to punch your power level up 50%. Since then, I really wanted to put, uh, I really wanted to put this to the test, and I thought, I figured the best way to put this to the test would be in the arena. So I went into the arena and I started battling teams that were more powerful than, than me. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. We're gonna put the devs words here. We're gonna put them to the test. We're gonna go into arena and we're gonna be smart about who we choose. And I have this team that's been working out fairly well for me. It's not a synergistic team. I didn't want to go with like a defenders or something like that. I wanted to go with a team that I can put together that I felt did what I needed it to do without all of those different synergies. There are some synergies, but it is not a, a team. So let's go ahead and jump into that right now. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and refresh. So right now I'm at a 179, and I was, it's what I have typically been trying to do is just get my rank back up there. I fell in my ranks quite a bit, and then I slacked off on arena. So I'm gonna let's see let's see what the lowest I can go. We can go down to a 450, uh, but we do have some red stars here. So we're gonna jump into this battle right now. This is the team I've been using. Go ahead and times three it just so we can speed up the battle as quickly as we can and we'll uh we'll start with the usual always oh, start working on um crossbones there go ahead and do some defense down taunt really start working on getting him taken care of slow him down should be able to uh, stun him pretty quick here and we got some pretty good, um, we got a nice chain off that. Now, I, I'll i always do um, Spider-Man's ultimate on here just to really get him down pretty quick because it does quite a bit of damage. Now, I won't do Yondu's basic attack there because I don't want to take away the taunt. Okay, so far, not doing too bad. We're going to go ahead and do a speed up here. Do some more defensive down. We took care of Gamora. And then we should be able to take care of him. Now we'll do this AoE here, which does quite a bit. Do a summon. And then just start peeling these guys away. Should be pretty easy. Now this this fight was only a couple thousand higher than... Um, than mine, than my power level. And that's that's really 
That's definitely not uncommon, right? We see that quite a bit. Wasn't too scary. So what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully get a stronger opponent in here. Okay, get that on that. Spider-Man Ultimate there, he does quite a bit of damage, that's really cool. Just gets Thanos down pretty quick. And then there's nothing here that's really worrying me, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on auto. So a couple thousand higher, kept everybody on my team, it worked out pretty well. Let's see if we can go find someone that's quite a bit more powerful than I am. This team here has been working pretty well. You know what, here's a 200 power team. I'm going to try them. Now we got to be smart here. They've got some red stars. I've got a few red stars. All right, we're going to start working on crossbones again. Do some defense down. Do a taunt over there. Luckily, he didn't get rid of it. Oh, got rid of it there. Let's go ahead and stun him. Got a decent chain there. Now Gamora did quite a bit of damage. I should be able to take him out with that, and I did. Let's see what I can do with the rest of this now. Quite a bit of damage there. Not too worried about that now. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's taken care of. We're going to start working on Gamora now, because I'm not overly worried. Let's go ahead and do a summon, see if we get any decent attack there. Here we go with Quake. So we got him down to two. And I think we're going to be okay. Take out Captain America. So there we go. That was, that was a little bit iffy. That was quite a bit higher. That was a 207k team compared to the team that I have right now at 179. A lot of people will take a look at that power score and say, all right, I need to use the most powerful characters I can in order to get through as much content as I can. And that, again, is really not the case. As the devs were talking about, player choice, what we have done, how we have chosen to develop our teams, where we're putting our abilities, where we're putting our gear, where we're assigning the, the Stark Tech bonuses, all of that really comes into play. Now, that's not to say that I can go in here and take on, I did a 207k team, which was awesome. I mean, that's a great example of what I'm trying to show here, but that doesn't mean that maybe there's another 207k team with even more red stars, or they're built a little bit differently that I'm not gonna be able to take on. So again, you gotta be wise with your decisions as far as who you're going to tackle. Uh, but let's see, let's go ahead and jump into this 192 this 192 fight and see what happens. All right, so we're here. It's pretty much the same. It's the exact same setup almost that I have, except they've got Gamora and I've got Spider-Man. So to start with this, I'm gonna start taking on Quake over here and do the same pattern that I typically am doing and see what happens. See, so let's see what we got going on over here. All right, let's go. I'm going to go ahead and stun Gamora over here. See if we can get a chain going, and we did a little bit. All right, so as you can see, having a little bit of a tougher time with this one. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, we got one taken care of. Let's go ahead and get Quake off just a little bit here. And I've got... Okay, we've got Gamora out of the picture. Let's bring in some help here. Yeah, and we've got this one taken care of now. Look at Cap's <laughs> Cap got scared. He left a shield. <laughs> and let's go. So this one here, um, I don't know. That one felt like a little bit of a tougher fight. Don't know where they've got their. Don't know where they have their um, their bonuses for Stark Tech and stuff like that. But um, there we go. There's another one that was ten thousand higher than what I currently am at. All right, and there we go. 
so let's uh, let's jump into the team that I'm using. Like I said, you guys saw the team here. Let me go into each one of them individually, and I'll show you where I have them. Again, this team has been working very well for me in Arena. And I've got quite a bit of versatility there. So I've got Quake here. As you can see, she's a tier 12. i got three red stars on her, and she's a level 70. I've got all of her abilities maxed out with the exception of orange materials. My Captain America, I've got him, three red stars. He's not fully, I'm working on getting him up to uh, seven stars, but not there yet. Again, his abilities are maxed there, except for the orange material. I'm really hoarding the orange material right now. Yondu, again, he's got three red stars. And um, same thing, he's gear tier 12. Level 65, I don't have him up to level 70 yet. Let's go back to Captain America, tier 12 again, level 70. So Yondu's at 65, uh, and he's uh, he's only at five stars. All right, next we have Black Widow, zero red stars on Black Widow, gear tier 12, level 68. And I have her abilities maxed out as well, except for the orange material. And then she's five gold stars. So as you can see, I've got a range of characters in here. They're not all level 70. They're not, they don't all have red stars. Um, Spider-Man here, he's one red star. And you guys know, just a reminder, we go into red stars here. One red star is only a 2% increase. Three red star is only a 10% increase. You really don't start seeing a lot of that, that impact your power until you get four star and higher. So Spider-Man gear tier 9, so he's not up to 12 like the other ones. He is a 7 star, 7 gold star with 1 red, and his abilities again are maxed, with the exception of the gold. And he's level 65 as well. So as you can see, I've got a, I've got a range of characters here. I didn't throw all of my top characters here. I've, try, I've been trying to diversify my roster quite a bit so that I have more options for the different game modes, for Blitz, for Arena, for Raids, for Campaign, for everything that we got going on. And I'm working more on diversifying even more of my roster to prepare more for Alliance Wars. All right, everybody, I wanna thank you for watching the video. Join me on Discord, follow me on Twitter. Both links are on my main channel page. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.